82 I was told I was beautiful But what does that mean to you? Look into the mirror, who's inside there? The one with the long hair Same old me again today My outsides are cool My insides are blue Every time I think I'm through It's because of you I've tried different ways But it's all the same At the end of the day I'm Alexa Brooks and I'm doing a book review on uh, Uglies by Scott Westerfeld, which you can see the book cover right here. And the little blurb on the back is that everybody gets to be supermodel gorgeous. What could be wrong with that? And this whole book is examining these ideas and themes about beauty. Our society is obsessed with it. Why are we doing this? Why? do girls wake up in the morning and they put mascara on. They put on all this makeup and, you know, maybe guys are starting to do that too. That's fine. That's whatever. I don't... But there's this need to feel beautiful. And um, in the uglies, it's kind of turned around. So there's this town of people who are considered uglies because they're plain. Um, they're, they don't really ever talk about makeup, which is why it's kind of strange that maybe I did focus on makeup, but I think it's because... Um, makeup could be similar to this thing that they have to go through called the operation. So when we think, ooh, sweet 16, 16 candles, 16th year, it's a, it's a big deal for the United States American culture. It's um, when a teenager is finally like a teenager, they're their own independent of uh, an adult. But in this world, it's uh, the, the 16th birthday is the year that you get your operation and it makes you just flawless and perfect. It will um, take any imperfection that you have and it'll turn it into the universal biological beauty. I'm sure you've all heard about the um, things that decide if you're beautiful. It's like if you're symmet symmetrical, please don't look at my face for this, but um, if you were to be like symmetrical, then that is what is considered to be beautiful. And so it takes into account all of these um, expectations and ideas that we have biologically about aesthetics and applies it to these kids and basically most kids tally herself wants to be pretty pretties get to live in new pretty town where they get to just party all the time to have fun hang out with people be beautiful be fun it's basically like a dream come true but then there's this whole wondering about are you changing yourself like yourself like your identity are you conforming it to be the same as everybody else and so Tally befriends this girl named Shay, and they kind of go on this rebellious journey together. Um, most uglies are tricksters. They really have no point in life except for to wait until they're 16 to be beautiful. Otherwise, they, they, they're ugly. Like, they don't have any important purpose in life. However, um, they occupy themselves and entertain themselves with tricks. And they have these hovercrafts that they can, like, play around on. And I don't want to give too much away because that's kind of getting into the novel. But, um, basically Tally and Shay just start to explore the rusty ruins and they, uh, stumble across some things and Tally has to make some big decisions about, um, is friendship or is beauty more important? Does she want to be pretty more than she wants to hold on to her friendships? And there's other characters involved, like Paris, who is her best childhood friend, but he's pretty now. And she wants to be with him but uglies and pretties can't be together. So Tally desperately wants to be pretty, as I think most girls and most most people, they just want to be beautiful, they want to be loved. And I think this uh, book really explores those ideas and themes, and I think that you will really enjoy them. I've only read the first book of this series, 
called Uglies. I happen to have the other two on me. I have um, Pretties, and originally it was supposed to be a trilogy. It says on here that um, it's the first of a trilogy, but I do believe that a fourth one has been released called Extras. This one's called Specials. But I've only read the first book. So far I'm kind of sucked in because it kind of leaves you on a little bit of a cliffhanger. So I'll definitely have to keep reading. They seem kind of bulky and kind of intimidating. And I for sure, when I was looking at this, I was like, oh my gosh, 425 pages. I don't have time for 425 pages. But they go really quick. It's one of those things that just sucks you in and you just you know, keep reading. It's a quick paced uh, novel. Reading takes us away from home, but most importantly, it finds homes for us everywhere. Hazel Roekman. Happy reading! I feel free.